Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Apparently she forgot to pill the cat this morning. So guess what we get to do? We get to pill the cat. So anyways, let's go pill the friggin' cat. This ought to be real fun. Sorry, it became very obvious that he did not want this pill. So I had to get him while I could get him, which I did. Okay, sorry, I missed it. I didn't have time to hit record because I had a very small window of getting him and getting that pill in his mouth. So he's getting treats now because he's such a good little kitties. This is the overnight oats that I'm talking about. And uh, she puts a bunch of stuff in there, the rolled oats and the chia seeds and, and uh, flax and who knows what else she's got in there. Um, not a lot of room though, because what she's trying not to do is cut up the fruit and put it in there. So I'm doing it afterwards, but there isn't a lot of room for me to get the fruit in there. So I am now going to dump all that into a bowl. We'll have plenty of fiber. So for the past two weeks now, I've been eating, you know, this super high fiber diet that consists of a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruit and still not enough water, but I'm getting better. It's a race against time to try to eat all this freaking crap before it goes bad because this stuff goes bad so quickly. I am, I am forking down all of this vegetables and most of them probably should be thrown away. So, you know, but it's just so expensive and it's just wrong to throw that much food away. So I have to eat more and quicker. So let's eat breakfast. You're shit in your eye. These Pungo Freshies with a shot at it are my new favorite thing, if you couldn't tell, because I pretty much had one every day since they started becoming aware of them. So anyways, very delicious. I'm not so much interested in gear reviews these days as I've stepped away from gear acquisition and gear reviews myself. Remember, my passion is photography, so I'm, I'm not stepping away from it entirely. So I've been watching a lot of different photographers' videos because I'm, I'm trying to not shoehorn myself into, uh, you know, like a, a small handful of creators because there are a lot of talented people out there that have great stuff. So I've been watching all these different videos by all these different creators. I'm back on the kick of wanting to work with a model and, and to do some, something cool. I, I look back fondly and sadly at how creative I used to be with my photography and how I used to come up with really cool stuff and I had some great photo shoots with, with some wonderful models and we just, it was just so much better when I was in Chicago. Ever since I moved here, portrait photography doesn't exist. I mean, I've shot one person since I've been here and I shot her twice, but man, I miss doing that. And I have all these wonderful ideas. And if you're like me as a photographer, you see the world through a lens. You look at every place as a potential location. You look at every person as a potential model. I mean, I will just be sitting at three ships and I'll see somebody or I'll walk by somebody when I'm out walking around and I will instantly transport them to a location that I have walked past and said, you know, this would be great for this kind of a, of a shoot. And then I'll remember the person that I saw and I'll be like, oh man, she'd be perfect for this. And then I will actually go through outfit changes in my head on, on what would look best for them for that particular theme. And, uh, you know, and, and even down to the point of accessories and things like that. Now, last night I stayed up way the hell too late and I rewatched a documentary on perhaps my favorite group, musical group, OMD. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. They started up in the 70s, you know, like early, or mid, late 70s, were really popular in the 80s, but it's their older stuff where they were very experimental, very cool. And, and the, the older I got, the more I appreciated their older, more experimental, like their album that, that was critically panned and a complete flop is awesome. It was called Dazzle Ships. Anyways, so I had come across this documentary years ago and I actually watched it waiting at the airport for my queen to get back from Italy. She took a trip to Italy to visit a friend. And I got there really early and I just sat there and I watched this documentary and it was awesome. I found it again the other day. And last night I started watching it because I wasn't sleepy for a change. And 
I ended up staying up until after one o'clock finishing the entire documentary. It's not that long, but it was, you know, I should have went to bed. I'll, I shouldn't even have started it, to, to be honest. And the reason I bring it up is because these guys, these kids, you know, they were, you know, not even 20 years old. Like the stuff that they created with basically junk, Paul Humphreys built a lot of their instruments. He's like, we well, couldn't play anything and we didn't have any money. So he used to just take electronics and put them together to make sounds. And, and all the sounds he's like, now today, I mean, you just get on, you do a keyboard and all that kind of stuff. We didn't have that. We couldn't afford that. So what I had to do, and, and he would talk about how he built these contraptions and how he had to control them to get them to, to do the sounds that they liked. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's amazing, amazing that he could just take a pile of electronic stuff, sometimes not even electronic, and put it together to have it make sounds that he had in his head, and then put all of that together to make these amazing songs. And that creativity just blows me away. So when I'm watching these videos, and, and I look at these pictures that people come up with, and the photo shoots that they do, and, and, you, know, and you start watching the behind the scenes and how they, how they do stuff, it just, absolutely fascinates me. That's what I'm passionate about, that creating something, that, that having something just form in your mind that makes you want to pick up your camera and whatever else you can find and, and do these amazing photo shoots. The thing is, is that, you know, you see all of this gear, everybody becomes so gear centric and you've got to have this camera and you've got to have this lens and you've got to have these lights and you've got to have this background and you've got to have this and you've got to have that and all that kind of stuff. It'd be the equivalent, the photography equivalent of me standing there with a phone and, and like picking up leaves and branches and, and garbage that I found on the street and putting it together in such a way that I make these amazing photos. Now, I don't know if I was ever that creative, but I was more creative than I am now because now I'm older and jaded and world weary from, from having to work for a living and blah, 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 and all that kind of shit. You know, especially this last year when I switched jobs, thinking that it was gonna be this easy transition and that, that would, you know, now all of a sudden I'll just be able to make money because, you know, I already know what I'm doing and finding out I kind of don't know what I'm doing. And it was much harder than I, had, ever thought it was going to be. And there was much more road time involved. It, it left me this past year stunted. I feel stunted. And my health took a turn for shit. And, and certain life events happened that turned everything to shit so that there was nothing but stress. And, and it's taken its toll physically and mentally on me. And I think that's why I've gotten so nostalgic for, for watching, you know, things like this, this OMD video or whatever, you know, documentary and, and it taking me back to a better time. I have, have got it in my head that I want to freaking seek out creative individuals. And I'm not even talking about, like, all right, I got to find a model to shoot, you know, shit like that. I got to, I got to start getting out of the woods because I don't do anything with anybody. I have become a complete miserable hermit that just goes into the woods with my cameras and takes pictures of birds and whatever the hell else I can find, spiders or shit like that. I don't interact anymore with creative people other than watching their shit on YouTube or going to you know some of my photography websites that I'm, that I'm a member of and looking what other people do, but I have no interaction with them. I'm talking about somebody that I can call up and, and, and drive 10 minutes and find, find them and do something. And I even tried to do that and, and everybody was a flake and it just pissed me off and made me retreat that much further into the woods. So if you're around Virginia Beach, hell, if you're around Virginia or North Carolina for that matter, hit me up, man. Let's get together. I'm always out. I'm always out. Whether it be on the road for day job or just driving around when I'm not doing day job shit, hit me up. I crave other creatives to hang out with and be creative with. And that's pretty much the gist of the video today. You know, just where my head is, because all I've been showing you is the fact that my tract is messed up and I'm eating a lot of fiber. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, 
forward and up.